But for this month's McKenzie Minute, we're going to uh, get a little bit of technique crossover today. So keeping in mind that we're viewing everything within um, force progressions and alternatives and direction, uh, we're going to cross over a little bit of uh, one of my favorite things, SOT blocking and some of our mechanical exams. So let's say we're looking at someone, either it's like prone laying, supine laying, we'll do supine because it's a little easier for me to go through this. Um, when we put our SOT blocks underneath the pelvis and we put them far enough, we can actually get an anterior or posterior translation of the pelvis and therefore a little bit of the lumbar spine because our rib cage would be fixed on the table. This is kind of akin to like the leaning backwards into the table extension to get a little more P to A. So if I'm laying here and I put my blocks underneath enough, I'm actually getting a, an anterior translation of my pelvis off the table while my rib cage stays down. So I'm going to get a little bit of front to back shear going across the spine that I wouldn't be getting just by laying normally. So depending on how I bury that, in and out, and then let somebody sit there and cook for a while, uh, might get some different results.